What is up guys? Welcome to today's video. In today's video, we're going to work on turning the garage into more of a YouTube friendly studio space. Let's get into it. All right, so first off with the whole mission is I wanna change all this stuff around. I wanna make it looking good. I wanna have a comfortable working space. And I was getting really cluttered and dirty and it was just really hard to work in and really hard to stay motivated kind of thing. Um, so first off is I need to clean the place which thankfully I've already done. Take a look. So this is the space that we've got now. I need to figure out what I'm doing with these. That is a waste of space, but these I need to figure out where I gotta put it. Um, exhaust, just chill on there. Still a little bit of cleaning and organizing just there. Here's some of the, no, I wouldn't say memorabilia, but I wanna figure out, I'm gonna make a display or hang these up on the wall or something. That's the final piece that I've got left from the uh, VE front end. I've got a replacement header. I've got a wheel of Jake's Mustang from Summonats. Um, I got some sound insulation foam that I'm thinking of putting up up there. Try and get rid of some of this echo in here as well. Um, overalls from Summonats, Summonats hat, just some stuff that I might put up on this in this area. Don't know how I'm gonna do that yet. And I've got these wicked lights that I'm going to try and hang across here in some kind of manner. Still haven't quite figured out how I'm gonna do that. But uh, that's what this episode's gonna be because I wanna transform this entire area into a sick little workspace. Alrighty, bring out the rest of these lights and then we're going to figure out how we're gonna hang them from up here. And then we're gonna get power to here. So this will be fun. But yeah, I do apologize. I did say I was gonna start doing the wheels today but I've been so busy trying to keep up with things. Um, I, I was selling some stuff. I, I had stickers to catch up on. We, we had to get new vinyl in. Speaking of that, stickers are back in stock. Go onto the website. It's like just here, kind of looks like this. The link is in the description. Uh, pick up some stickers, buy a hundred, buy 200. And at the moment, the absolute crazy mind blowing record has been set at 20 stickers. That's right, you heard me right, 20 stickers. Uh, just give me a sec, I'll figure out who that was. That was James Roberts. Huge shout out to James Roberts, that is massive. You have no idea how much that supports the channel. Uh, just a couple stickers goes such a long way, but 20 stickers, man, you literally sold us out. We had to, we had to restock, reorder, but we have it all in stock now. We will be cutting more stickers now. So go ahead, order as many as you want from the website. If you are new here, make sure you subscribe to the channel, ring that little notification bell, get all the notifications for every video we upload because especially next week, we have some cool stuff coming. I'm not gonna tell you much about it now, but there's some cool stuff coming. While you're at it, jump on Instagram, picnic underscore media. If you're not already following us, I don't know why you're not. Get on there, follow us. Alrighty, back to this. Like I said, I've been really busy with doing some other stuff. I wanted to kind of get the ball rolling with uh, with fixing up the wheels before I actually started filming kind of thing, but I just completely ran out of time. So much so that like the exhaust pipe that I was painting the other day is still sitting out here drying. Now it is coming out mint, but it is still just been sitting out here drying, which is good because with clear coat, the longer you get it to set, the harder it's gonna set. Got some damn hair in it, but like everything in this household has hair in it. It's only on that side. But yeah, that reflection's coming out nice. Still hardening up. Still gotta do the other one, but yeah. Either way, this has come out really good. So I wouldn't quite say it was a fail. And as well, those imperfections where the water was, they're gone. So yeah, not too bad, not too bad. Alrighty, let's get the rest of the stuff for the garage. But yeah, here are the new colors. Well, not new colors, but the restock. So we got the Nardo gray, black, yellow. This time we went with a metallic gold instead of a gold chrome, but all of these are on the website. They're up, ready to go. And here are some of the other lights. They had them on sale at Ikea, so I grabbed as many as I could. All right, I'll take these into the garage now. So I have a maximum of eight lights and I'm going to hang them across here. I'm gonna use these hooks that happened to already be in the wall bit of fishing line so you can't see them and uh, I don't know we'll see how they go I can't really tie knots so what they say when you can't tie knots tie lots so <laughs> we'll see how that goes alrighty so this is roughly the idea that I'm looking for kind of just winging it but does that not look sick just uh, got to punch out these middle ones alrighty so that's a brief look at kind of what I'm doing I gotta figure out how to, I think I need to weight the bottom of them, especially on the smaller ones. So they are like drag straight instead of on an angle. So like normal, I got sidetracked yet again. We found this tube from Likewise and I forgot that I had this uh, 
Louis Vuitton banner that I used to have on the car and it failed. Actually, this one. I used to have that on the car, but it failed and it shrunk in the sun. So you can see where it's all like having issues and everything. But yeah, we, we took it off and they sent us a new one. But then you know that the, the yellow one that I've got on the front now, you can't have a, two banners and you won't be able to see. So what I decided to do was maximize the cut and uh, just do a big ass. can't really see it yet, but we did massive picnic stickers. I have no idea what we're going to put them on yet. Probably put them on the wagon. I don't know. But we'll clean off the uh, table first and we'll weed them and see what they look like. So this is a really thick material, so I'm going to... I'm a little bit interested to see how it weeds, although it seems to be doing really well. It's so weird doing this on a big scale. Oh, it didn't cut in some spots. So this is the final outcome. It's a big sticker. This one, I don't know what was wrong with the needle, but this material is so thick. It's like we had to set the pressure and the needle depth at like nearly three times what we do for like the normal picnic stickers. God, it's so thick. I know obviously you can't really see it there, but I suppose it is really glossy there. I wonder if I should put this on the wagon or do anything with it. Cause I do love the Louis Vuitton look like pattern kind of thing. Cause I love patterns and I love symmetry. And I don't know, I guess I'm kind of just drawn to the Louis Vuitton logo more than others, I guess. I don't know why. Plus it's super flex. Yeah, that one's that one sucks. For some reason the needle didn't, or like the little knife didn't cut through all of it. So we're gonna go through and you don't have to recut it, but you kind of just have to trace over the line almost. At least this one kind of came out all right. I'm thinking I don't know if I should put it on like this or if I should do double layers and like give it a gold background or something, or even a black background. I don't know. All right, so now I've got an outline, which is uh, I've actually grown with like a stroke tool. Now I've got the gold in here, so I can do a gold background. And send, get this out of its way. It should do this relatively quick. So this side did turn out perfect, but then this side is all janky and everything because the roll of the gold, as you can hear in that machine, it jammed because it was at the end of the roll. Like the machine wanted to roll out more and there was nothing to roll. It was stuck to the cardboard tube. So all through here, you can literally see just here was where it wanted to keep going around, but it couldn't. So the needle went back and then cut and all this is in shorter than it should be. I mean, it's not the end of the world because like on the A, we could just use a razor to trim down the side once it's where it needs to be. But uh, I guess it's not the end of the world. Just got to guess and guess and see what it looks like. But yeah, the, the reason I couldn't like I already had these stickers cut out perfectly and then the, the software crashed on me. So I hadn't I hadn't saved it. So when I decided to do the background bit, I had to literally wing it and guess and see like to how big the sticker was. Turned out pretty good, I reckon. I don't know, I guess I guess I could put it on my toolbox, but you never really see that. And I've already got some stickers there and I have to go over the top of them or rip them off or, I don't know. And this, I put those two in the middle. I'd have to figure out, like they're not spaced properly. That's not permanent where they're gonna go, but it's just it's just to help out the uh, the arrangement of the area. I, they, do, they will look wicked once they're actually straight and everything, but I need to figure out how to weight them from below. I'm thinking of putting like, I don't know, a rod or something across the bottom, across the bottom of the floor there that's kind of like heavy a bit, and then tying, uh, tying fishing line around the base of all of them and kind of tying them to that so it's pulling them all straight. I don't know if I should have two in the middle there or one in the middle there. I do reckon they look sick. God, I feel so unaccomplished. I don't know how to finish that off. I have to do some more thinking, but then like, if I wanted to put a sticker there, I don't know, I don't know. But it obviously won't stick on brick. I don't know what to do with this little system. And then, oh, should I put them on top of that? I don't know, I just don't know. So many unanswered questions and I just feel so unaccomplished today. Oh, maybe I'll just put things down for uh, the rest of the day. And uh, before I start breaking stuff and getting angry or <laughs> making mistakes, I'll just, uh, Maybe I'll just sit back and enjoy the rest of the day with Indy and Leo. 
kick back and relax. home now and I'm probably gonna end this vlog for today so uh, didn't accomplish much today which sucks and is annoying but got to pat a little puppy all right uh, I'm gonna sign this vlog off I'll catch you guys in the next one peace